Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, Robbie, is yeah. if someone's interested in doing internet radio themselves, mm -hmm. um, what are the best options, um, how to get started? Are we talking like music radio or talk radio? Um, kind of well, in, in my case, I'm interested in doing uh, talk radio, okay. um, but I don't know anything about it at all. Um, so how would you get started? How would you? I think, I think have, you heard of, have you heard of a podcast? Yes. And is that something that m might, do you understand what it is and, and why that might be a little bit more towards where things are going? Or? Internet radio to me means if you're doing a talk show, mm -hmm. basically having to keep a program schedule, having to do it like radio, and mm -hmm. having to have content 24-7. Right. Having to be able to provide something all the time so that when people tune in there's some content there that's a big undertaking mm -hmm. with podcasts on the other hand you can record your audio you can do a nice professional uh, recorded produced uh, audio feed or are you talking about live perhaps I was thinking of a mix of having yeah. you know some recorded music and then having yeah. uh, uh, interesting talk show interview whatever mm -hmm. and um, maybe a uh, little news infused and okay. um, I, I just I couldn't see doing it 24 7 C category 5 is a is probably a good example for mm -hmm. you of how it could be done with TV but I wonder if it could be done with audio as well like if we could broadcast it live mm -hmm. like on a schedule using as Jada is saying a program like Shoutcast mm -hmm. you're not going to be playing any music right so we don't need to worry about royalties right so that's fine. If you do need to worry about royalties, we look at services, I would say, like live365.com. Right. It's great because they automatically, like, they take care. If you're a personal, individual broadcaster, they're going to take care of your royalties for you. So mm. it, you pay, like, a monthly fee in it, and it's just kind of dispersed appropriately. So, um, so that's nice. But if you're just mm -hmm. doing talk radio, I think um, broadcast, you need a, a server, mm -hmm. which is what people connect to. So right. Live 365, again, is still a good option, even if it's talk radio. Hmm. Shoutcast is, is great, but you need to have a physical server to run it on. Hmm. Okay? Uh, and then you have to feed to that. There's, it get, gets kind of technical. I think before you even think about the technical end, it's got to be more what's the best way to do it. And I think if you wanted to do it live, probably Category 5, like I say, is a good model because we do broadcast live, but then we have the downloadable versions after the fact. Right. So you're able to syndicate to iPods. Uh, like iPhones and things like that, different right. devices, MP3 players, you can offer different So people formats. can play your mistakes over and over again. Well, so if you do do it live, and a lot of podcasts are pre-recorded and, and then they edit it, mm. just like old school radio, like uh, voice tracking and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So a uh, little bit different. But if you, if you wanted to do it live, you just basically press record, and then at the end of it, you upload an MP3, an Og Vorbis file, and then you create an RSS file that would allow people to automatically download that. So pretty much anybody could do internet radio that way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. And it could, pardon me, it could be really cheap. You just need a good quality microphone, a USB podcast microphone. Like is $100 reasonable to spend on a microphone? Well, let's take a quick look. Like my microphone here, if you're watching Backstage Pass, this guy up here is a, a Rode NT1 and they run about $350. Uh, but that's a little eccentric and you need to have a, a phantom powered uh, amp, like preamp on that mic. But you can get, um, I think Rode actually makes a podcast microphone. Hmm. And they're great. Uh, Rode Podcaster. I like Rode. So this is one that we would want to look at. I don't have an official link. See, but they're still 230 bucks. So that if, if you're looking for 100 bucks, that might be a little bit hot. But these are awesome. Like hmm. that's a USB device that you just plug into your system. You don't need a preamp. And it gives you a fabulous sound. That's excellent. Yeah, so that's something I would look at. But if you can't go that route, mm -hmm. I mean, I started off with just like a, a handheld AKG microphone mm -hmm. and just ran it through a, a cheap... Uh, actually, I think I had a, an adapter that allowed me to plug it directly into my 8-inch uh, microphone input on my sound card. So mm. different things could be done. But uh, yeah, essentially start with just planning out what you want to do. And are there any permissions that you have to get? or Not if it's like talk. I mean, because if it's talk, it's your content, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to start playing clips and stuff, then we get into the whole legalities of, you know, royalties and making sure that people are credited. Um, so as long as you stay away from that and you, you just have a talk show. So could you use something like Skype to do a phone-in show? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you could actually record that or broadcast it directly from your computer. 
Mm. Like Absolutely. a live a live show. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and then you could record it and broadcast it afterwards with podcasts and things like that. Mm. If you have any feedback for Christy uh, specifically, if you're interested in podcasting or if you have any uh, any knowledge about audio podcasting, we'd love to hear from you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, just email me live at category5.tv and I'll actually uh, I'll be happy to forward that on to you. Thank you. No problem.